Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Today I've got, I'm working in my greenhouse here. Let me raise the camera up a little. Looks a little bit better, I guess, than me ducking down. I'm going to plant some peanuts. What I have here is a plate that I have some peanuts that I bought from the Amish. They were sold as... Uh, seed for chipmunks and squirrels and I've sprouted them now the sprouting rate is not a lot I mean these might be old stock is why they're selling them it was cheap but I do have some good sprouts here some sprouted very well and others have not so I'm going to plant these in the ground are in uh, starter trays for now and the ones that have sprouted and then the others I'm going to wash these thoroughly give them a few days more chance and see some of them look like they want to uh, so I, I might get a lot better rate there's about a hundred here Melanie said which is about what I want a hundred will give me a very good number of plants excuse me I have to check myself I feel something crawling on me there's a lot of ticks hi again Still ducking down. Oh ah, well, anyway, so I've got my professional tool here, a stick. And what I'm going to do is very simple. What I like here is that, except that I'm crouching down to see the camera, I can stand here fully comfortable and, and do this. Now what I'm doing, uh, my soil is a bit dry. I might want to dust it or wet it down first. I'm taking the potting soil that was for the mung beans which is very 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 good quality stuff because Melanie thought that my um, composted cow manure was potting soil so she um, used that and uh, I'm gonna plant in that for now for the for the starters the mung beans did like it until they froze and that was sad that is some dry soil. When I'm done, I'm going to soak these heavily anyway. So I'm going to take, I think that the chute goes down. I'm going to open a spot, put a peanut in, shoot down, and then bury it. Oh, it doesn't really want to. I might have to add some more soil on top after I'm done. Generally, the peanuts can go way lower down in the dirt. I might just use my finger. This is not working as well with a stick. But the reason I'm doing this is because our soil is dry in, a, in our garden. Really, really, really dry. And if we're going to have any success with seeds out there, we need to start them in the house and then put them out. Because otherwise there's no way that they're going to ever have a chance to grow with any success. I mean it's just it's bone dry out there. It's one of the situations we're learning to overcome in our environment is the sandy soil and the baking sun causes extremely harsh conditions. Now we are amending our soil with time and this is one of the other ways to overcome because it's hard to start seeds. You can water that soil down in the, in the morning and by midday it's bone dry. You can have a rainstorm and in the morning and by midday you'd never know it. It's dry out there. Really dry. Actually, I'll tell you these after sitting, letting them sit a little bit longer, these do have a high germination rate. I'm not it's not too bad. Um, that one's starting to. Quite a bit, quite a few of them are sprouting. The majority of them are actually now that I'm looking at them like this. So, I'm gonna mark this one here where I am and I'm gonna keep on going and we'll get these peanuts in the starter trays. And now I'm taking mixed. Organic uh, 
potting soil and in gardening. There's a mix of uh, seed starting soil and potting soil and uh, everything. I just took a mixture from a bunch of different starter trays that didn't fit. There, I got square ones and everything else here. And then grinding it up in a bigger pot. And because uh, it dried out, of course, got from uh, chunky. But anyway, what I'm doing is fixing these or filling these most of the way up with dry soil, and then I'll put a peanut in each one, and then I'll put some soil over the top, and that'll help me finish this out. It also makes it easier once they're lower, and all I got to do is put the peanut on. I'm only taking the ones that are sprouted though for sure or have a little nub on them that looks like they want to sprout. That one's sort of moldy. The ones that are moldy are definitely not going in. But there is a majority of these have sprouted or are sprouting. So they're all going to go in here and give us some really neat nutritional nutritious nutritional nutritious snacks. when they're done growing if if we can extend our growing season long enough to keep them alive considering we just had another frost our growing season is short and depending on the type of peanut this is and I have really no idea because we bought them from uh, as squirrel food um, depending on the type of peanut it could be anywhere from a hundred to 120 days growing season and you guys all know our growing season isn't very long here it's a problem for us so we're gonna have to extend our growing season in order to make this work so it'll be a fun challenge if it works out for us it'll be really great it's so much easier than to cover these this way I should have done it that way but in the beginning I should have just dumped them out to get others fill the tray a little ways up and then um, exactly what I'm doing now so much easier and all this failed mung bean starter trays because of the first frost we had sadly we lost all our our mung beans then all the soil from them is going in here there's a bunch of different she had all kinds of stuff she had different shapes and sizes of pots and everything well, that's all right so <clears throat> I've got to recycle some more soil I've got plenty of I've got containers here that Melanie had all kinds of containers this is convenient. It's very comfortable in here. It's very cozy. I love our greenhouse. I really love it. It's neat. So I'm just putting it all in here from various size containers she had. Use up all that first before I break into a new grow bag. There's a good tray I can use for the next flat. See when those are all done then I'm going to organize this greenhouse better because as I go now I'm putting like size but you can't see it can you? Well anyway I'm, I'm sorting out the uh, the trays and stacking them together round ones with round ones uh, trays with three slots all together and these are all with three slots up in here and then I'm going to organize this place because it's it's been a little bit crazy here through the years and there is no organization. Well, I'm going to do that now over the next days as they work. Cause I've also got corn and uh, lima beans and peas and green beans from 2016 from our own garden back in New York uh, that are some are sprouting. Not a good germination rate, but I figured I might as well use them up first before I go out and buy anything. For this year and uh, what sprouts is good and what doesn't and gets thrown away 
the chickens. Well, not throwing away. Everything's a resource out here in the homestead. I say that a lot. Nothing gets wasted. Um, whatever doesn't work out for us can go to the chickens as long as there's no mold. Anything moldy goes into the compost. But nothing gets wasted in the end. Now I'm looking down here at starting a... Um, behind me there's... You all know there's some space behind me on the ground that nothing ever grew well because the sunlight doesn't get there. Well, now I've got a plan. I want to put mushrooms in there. So there's one. I'll take that aside and I'm going to water that later. I'll put it up here out of my way. And when I do the watering tonight, I'm going to water that one. And then I can lay out my trays. It will have a nice harvest if they grow. But I'm going to do everything in starter trays. Even my corn is in starter trays. because Now Melanie did do two rows and we're probably going to put a tarp over that. Uh, i got to dig out some more of these. So anyway, I'll do that off camera. Oh, there's some. Anyway, they're everywhere. I'm going to set that up. But Melanie put the corn out. We'll put a tarp over that until it sprouts. Not a work for there. So I've got four trays of peanuts. It worked out almost perfect. A couple I doubled up on the last one. And there's 36 to a tray. I 72 times 2, what, 148? Did I do my math right? So there they are. Those four shelves. Are occupied with the peanuts. Now I'm going to bring out the beans and the peas and plant the ones that are ready to be planted and uh, we'll go from there. So I've got uh, peas up here I just did and now I'm planting some white beans. I want to show you how impressive these are if I find another good one. Some of their root structures are pretty impressive. Now I suppose I won't find one some of these have got some serious roots. Oh, I planted them all already. Well, I keep feeling stuff in my leg and I have to check. There's so many ticks. But some of these had, well, I guess I could show you. I can pull one out. Where's one of them? Seriously developed root structures. There's one. That is from sprouting in a paper towel. So some of these are really, really ready to go. Really put out some roots. These are white beans. Again from a 2016 harvest. And um, not all sprouted, but the ones that did, I'm going to give a chance to live and grow for us. The kidney beans did the worst. The ones that sprouted did the best. I mean, really sprouted well, the ones that did, but they uh, overall didn't do very well. There's one with a nice rut. The white beans look good. Regardless, we're going to have a decent garden this year. Oops, it's a piece of a bean. Huh, it tried to grow. I think we'll have a decent garden. Because we had such a late frost and we have such a short growing season, I always have to sprout them or we're not going to have anything happen. If you don't sprout them first with the shorter growing season, by the time they do sprout, Summer's over. I'm exaggerating a bit, but that's what it seems like. You've got to give them every chance you can for them to grow. I don't know if I might want to double up some of these. 
some of these uh, didn't sprout yet, but look like they want to or will. I don't know, I'll have to look and see. There's quite a few left. Not a whole tray, but yeah, I'll come back to them. See how it does. So there's them. And then I take and sprinkle the topsoil nice and neatly over the top. I mean, not neatly, but I mean loosely. So that they don't really have to push up hard to grow. Everything's loose in these trays, which is perfect for these little guys. I guess I should call them little girls, huh? They're reproducing. That's what Melanie calls her plants. All the, they're all girls for her. Filling them up on the top is easy. I just throw a handful and spread it a little. Just doing the first, uh, starting them out is awkward because you don't want to overfill them. Top them off is real easy. And then of course uh, when you water them, that's going to sink down a little bit. And I'll probably sprinkle some more over top in time. And with them, put that tray out of my way for now. And then I'll do another tray with the kidney beans. It's a lot, but I'm really hoping to do a lot of uh, food this year since we're back on the homestead full time. It's just, boy, the short growing seasons we have. Doesn't give a lot, us a lot of chance. Now next year I'll be able to grow and start plants in here. I'll have to have some sort of heat. There's no way I can do it without. So I'm gonna mix some more soil up. So I've put lids on them for now to keep the moisture in because it gets hot in here in the day and it can dry them out quick. And there's the four peanuts. And then I've got uh, green beans, white beans, brown beans. So there's, oh, what is there, four? Six, six times four. It is 24, 48 of each of these. Well, guys, the greenhouse is full of life this year. It's going to be in the 40s again tonight. No, 30s, high 30s. So Melanie has a lot of her flowers in. There's the sweet potatoes, one of the batches. There's some water spinach, I think she said. An eggplant of hers, some various things. There's her, see, she has two citrus trees, some more flowers over there. I've got a goji berry. Our herbs, our rosemary is the best I've ever had. And our herbs are starting to grow. Some of the grapes are coming back and recovering. And I've got my corn is get, needs to go out. Corn needs to go out in the field. I don't know what she's got here. And then uh, two more flower baskets. So we've got a lot of life in here this year. A whole lot of stuff. All my other herbs are bushing out slowly. Everything's slow because it's been so cold. Lemongrass, Melanie's lemongrass is looking good. I put three in here and they're really bushing out nice. Really good. And now everything else is starting to come. So it's slow, but it's coming. All right, guys, well, that's it for now. Working in the greenhouse. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully off the grid and self-sufficient on a budget. And part of self-sufficiency, growing our own food. Got a lot of it this year going on. Talk to you later.